I'm here to answer the age-old question. In the Southern Hemisphere, does water go down the drain clockwise? Coriolis effect. Let's find out. The world may never know. You have arrived. Well, here we are for another day in the Gold Coast. This one is actually sunny and beautiful and kind of hot. But today we're at SeaWorld. We're gonna check out the coasters they have here, especially the Gravity Group Woody Leviathan. Let's go inside. Rides are supposed to open at 9.30. It's almost 10.15 and we're just now getting into the queue. So, Leviathan, you're setting me behind. I'm here with Jake from Maloney's Coasters and once again Riley from That's So Mid. Guys, we just rode Leviathan, the best wooden coaster in Australia. What'd you guys what'd you guys think of that first? I know Riley, you haven't been on it in over a year, yeah, right? It's it's got a bit rougher since I last rode it, so I'm not looking forward to it in like three years. <laughs> right. But it's still a pretty good pace ride and it's a good air time on it. Yeah. Yeah, it's still my second favorite coaster in Australia, but uh, it's getting rough fast and I'm very worried that it might become unbearable <laughs> if they don't take care of it, so. I definitely can see that. The whole time I'm riding it, I'm thinking, this is like Mind Blower. But then Mind Blower is a little more violent than that. Um, but just in terms of great ride, great airtime, this is a long ride too. But um, yeah, definitely felt like the good airtime in the back row. But then, uh, yeah, Mind Blower and Thunder Coaster came to mind, just in terms of like, this is a great ride, but I don't know if I can take too much of that. But we'll try to get back. We gotta ride back row backwards, so uh, we'll be back. But for now, you know, uh, I'm pretty impressed. Just uh, let me screw the wheels on tighter. Okay. So all the other coasters are closed except for the coaster and a pineapple under the sea. I'm psyched. You guys psyched for this kitty coaster? Oh, get ready for some injector at time. Yes. And Riley has not been on this. He's lived here his whole life, never gotten SpongeBob credit. So. I feel kind of special. I get to escort him on his first yeah. time <laughs> on this Zamperla gravity coaster. So, um, line's pretty long. Kind of embarrassing waiting in line for this, but again, not embarrassing enough for me to get out. A few minutes later. Okay, we abandoned SpongeBob. For one, it was like a thousand degrees in that line, but Jet Rescue is open. I'm excited about this one. Everyone's hyping this up for me. Wasn't that excited for it at first, but apparently it's good, so let's find out. Y'all did it to me again. Jet rescue. I wouldn't. I didn't have high expectations, and then everyone's like, "You're sleeping on jet rescue. You're sleeping on jet." What happens? It's not that good. It's, it was. It was pretty slow at the beginning. Second half was a bit faster after that second launch. Um, it was pretty cool around like the rocks and stuff, but that was like a 25 second ride at most. So yeah, um, a little bit disappointing. But you know, what? I'm glad I got to ride it because I heard this is having problems. And um, I guess I'm lucky to even get on it. So there you go. So we 
road, SpongeBob. That was embarrassing, but it's a plus one on the credit sheet. That's all that matters. So there's one coaster that's closed. I don't know if we're gonna get on it today, and that is Storm. If you know me, if you miss this one, I'm not gonna be heartbroken. But if it's open, I'm gonna be forced to ride it because you know, credits. Always with the credits. Okay, so Storm Coaster's closed. We have done all the other credits here, so we are going to do Leviathan backwards. It is 25 extra dollars Australian. Uh, a little cheaper than DC Rivals, which I appreciate. So let's see if it uh, stacks up. Well, I didn't think that anything was going to beat DC Rivals backwards. And maybe that wasn't quite as good of a ride, but in terms of just insanity, uh, Leviathan definitely deserves the mark. Because that was, uh, I think because of the roughness and all the twists and turns and airtime hills, that was actually more insane than DC Rivals backwards. So definitely if you come to SeaWorld, don't cheap out. 25 Australian, gotta do it. Unfortunately, storm opened, so I have to go ride it. So I'm gonna put you back in the locker. I'll see you on the other side. Okay, so that wasn't too bad. We had to wait a while. The uh, the queue was like hotter than death, but we got on. Didn't get that wet. Uh, these guys let me take row three instead of four, which was very appreciated because I did not want to get soaked. No worries. So yeah, um, that I'm done writing for now. I'm just gonna go get footage now. Thanks guys for being my uh, my tour guides for today. Would you say this is the worst park in the Gold Coast? It's lacking attractions. Yeah, it's, lacking. It, it needs something. It needs a few more things. Yeah. Worst park's still fun. What are you gonna do? So I'm gonna go head around and see what else is there to see, but I'm done riding for the day. If you come to SeaWorld and you have some extra time to spare, just, you know, take it in. Because this place is big it's got a lot of animal exhibits. It's got a lot of rides too. But, I mean, this is pretty beautiful out here. So, if you can spare the time, just uh, walk all the way around the park and enjoy it. So I heard the ops here are famously bad, especially on Leviathan. Definitely has lived up to the um, hype, or the non-hype, whatever it is. But, I don't know what it is. Man. These dispatches are, uh, you know, five, six, seven minutes. This is two trains. It's nuts. So that's it for SeaWorld. Um, pretty good park. Had a good time. But we were ducking a little bit early because got to go back and some rides on DC Rivals. I get, you guys understand. Famous recliners and all lift chairs. You have arrived. Lazy boy. Alright, so we got one round on Superman, two on DC Rivals, very short line. Got stuck in the middle on one of them, it was still awesome. So, also got staple on the last one, but it was still awesome. So, I don't think there's anything you can do to ruin DC Rivals. Okay, so we're leaving Movie World, but we're not done for today. We got one more surprise for st in store, and that is the Big Bash League. We're going to a cricket match, not only any cricket match, playoff match. So, uh, see you then.
there you go, my very first cricket match. Uh, Sixers 152, Heat 113. Uh, not as great as the first match I saw on TV, but still a lot of fun. So that is it for uh, SeaWorld. That is it for Movie World. That is it for Cricket. Dream World tomorrow. Hope you guys join for that one. I'll see you next time.